had a question from someone that wanted to know, can a diabetic type 1 do prolonged fasting? Let's answer that question. There's been a huge focus, if you're a type 1 diabetic, on keeping your glucose corrected in your blood, okay? So that's important, but there's been very little emphasis on how much insulin a person takes. If you just compare levels of importances, okay, keeping your glucose normal or making sure you don't take enough insulin, there's been a lot more focus on just keeping your glucose normal. I mean, what you may already know if you're a type 1 diabetic is the amount of carbohydrates you eat determine the amount of insulin you're going to have to inject in your body. More carbs, more insulin. Type 1 diabetic doesn't make insulin. So if they eat food, raise glucose, they're going to have to take insulin to lower it because high amounts of glucose is very dangerous. The question is this. Where is this glucose going when you take the insulin? Is it magically evaporating? No. Insulin takes this excess glucose and starts to hide it throughout the body. It starts to convert it into fat around the liver, around the organs in your belly. Uh, so that's, that's the problem. Here's what you need to know. Taking too much insulin is just as bad as having too much glucose in your arteries. So... Can you fast? You should be fasting. You should do intermittent fasting for sure. Why? Because that's going to lower the amount of insulin that you need. Now, there's going to always be a certain amount of glucose in your blood because your body is going to make glucose in the liver from fat and even protein. But the point is that what you need is just the right amount of insulin. Not too much, not too little. Many type 1 diabetics have what's called double diabetes. They have insulin resistance in type 1 diabetes. So that means that when they take insulin, it doesn't really work. The receptors are not absorbing it as well. So not only do they not make insulin, but the injected insulin that they get is not working. So they have to take more of it. So this over here is a big, big problem because the requirement for insulin is massive. So doing fasting and healthy keto is going to greatly reduce this insulin resistance problem and the need for insulin will come way, way down and you're, you will live longer. Now, when you do fasting, it's highly recommended that you also take nutrients while you're fasting, especially if you have insulin resistance too. Electrolytes, trace minerals, B vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin E are very, very important just because a type 1 diabetic does have a difficult time absorbing nutrients because they have an insulin problem and also they may have insulin resistance. All right. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call but I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.